2022 Alternate Gamer Controller. to our 2022 Elgin 8 Game Room Tour. And uh, I think it's safe to say this is the video everybody's been waiting for and commenting for and asking for. So it's finally here. There's definitely things that still need done and still worked on, but I think that's every game room. It's always evolving. With that being said, uh, before we show you guys some of the nooks and crannies of this game room, we want to take you back a little bit, give you a little bit of the history on Elijah and I. So we've been doing YouTube for like almost six years now, believe it or not. Holy, yeah. holy crap. But we've been doing YouTube for a while, but pretty much the whole time we've been doing YouTube, we've also been building this game room. We started out back at an apartment. Originally, it was like the spare room in the apartment where we kept all of our games and we would collect every game we could find, even like, you know, the My Little Ponies and the sports games that no one cared about. Fast forward like three years later, the game room was looking much better. That was our most recent game room tour, which you can go check that out if you're interested. A little cringy, I warn you that, <laughs> but if you would like to see where this began, definitely give that a watch just to kind of see how crazy things have changed in the past few years. We did recently do a video also that's building the game room tour, which I think has gotten everybody interested in what's happening right here today. We bought this house recently and had, this basement was literally just a basement. It wasn't finished. There was literally just studs on the wall. That's, that is all we had to work with. So we had to pay a guy to come finish it. And that, that's a whole video in itself right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the whole video. So if you guys uh, would like to see this whole game room tour, I would recommend starting with that. Definitely come back to this video and check this out because this is the final product. Final product. So let's give you guys a little bit of a look around. All right, everybody. We're gonna start in this corner over here uh, from what you can see, I guess. We just basically got consoles over here. Mostly PlayStation, have a couple Xbox. So up in the top over here is like our PlayStation Classic, PSPs, Vita, PS2, you know, PS4, basically our box systems. You can't really see down here is the PS5 and uh, the Xbox One S, which is actually uh, the Gears of War. Xbox one is. And then right beside that, we got one of our more recent pickups actually is this Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet. We've always wanted to have an arcade cabinet in our game room and now we finally do. Over here, we have the little PlayStation Nook corner. This is the Sony PS3 TV with the 3D functionality and everything. And then down here, we actually have our PS3 and some accessories and Vita and some controllers. And if anybody's actually interested in any of the furniture throughout this video, most of it is Ikea. So I think it's like the Fajalbo series or something. I don't know, Nathan can link it down below. <laughs> but um, can't go on without mentioning this cute little dog meat statue <laughs> I have over here. I just saw it and I was like, of course. We have to show everybody the cute puppers in the game room. All right, and over here, we actually have our little Nintendo section, which is really cool. This is all our box consoles, like how we had the PlayStation stuff over there. Definitely some interesting exclusive consoles, like the Dialga and Palkia Switch, and these cute 3DS box games, box games, box consoles, with like the Pikachu and the Pokeball. The box GameCube in here, a DS, uh, the Galaxy 3DS, N64, which uh, show you down here. We got the N64 box Game Boy, some of the cooler stuff. The classics, the box Wii back there, some Joy-Cons. As you can see, this place isn't finished. So we do have stuff sitting on the floor, kind of around the place, but. Alrighty, so over here we have a lot of statues. Some of these we had in the last one, but some of them we didn't. I know Edelgard is new. I know Tanjiro, Nezuko, even this Ryuko is new. This Ryuko is actually one of my new favorites. We just got this from Papa Free. Yes. Papa Free, yeah, not too long well, ago. It's a good smile, come. Good smile, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, down on this level, we have Chise from Persona. We also have Makoto, who's like one of my personal favorites from Persona. And then we got Joker as well. A little further down, we have more of the Ruby Girls. And on the very bottom shelf, we have a bunch of Mario, and I guess we have uh, Knuckles or Shadow from Sonic as well. And then we got some towels we got in Seattle not too long ago. We also have another cabinet on the other side of where the main game display is at. But over here we got Patamon, Patamon on the very top because that's the most important thing, right? <laughs> then we have Ellie, which is Elijah's, I don't know, uh, what should I say, Elijah's 
reason to be alive, I guess. That's my tattoo. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, we also got Nathan Drake. We have there's some Resident Evil figures. Legend of Zelda as well. Uh, we have two different links. And then very bottom, uh, God of War. We actually just started playing not too long ago for the first time. In this part of the game room, I think is what mo interests most people because this is kind of like our library. This is our chaotic. This is literally our games. This is the game room, if I should say so. Up top, you can see this is our PS4 collection, which is crazy. I did want to go into a little bit of detail real quick before I continue to elaborate. Recently, we have started cutting down our game room, which I know, cutting down. <laughs> uh, we've actually started getting rid of some games that we noticed that we're never gonna play. And diving deeper into getting more expensive games or games for our collection that we know that we really want and really want to play. So I feel like our game room quality, if you look at our previous videos to this video, is gonna be much better. Uh, which, if in the future you guys would like to see more in depth of like each collection here, then definitely let us know and we can go through each of the games and let you know which, what we have. But I'll pull out some of my favorites. This is an interesting new one. It's actually like one of my favorite series here is uh, actually this AI or I Insomnium Files. This is the new Nirvana Initiative, Odin Sphere which is an Atlas game. Then we got our PS5 collection over here, which isn't super crazy because it hasn't been out super crazy long to have exclusives for it yet. But then right over here, we have the PS3 collection that comes out to here to this little ratchet here. I know one that has gone up in value recently, which is pretty interesting is this uh, Persona 4 Ultimax. Then over here, all the way across over here, we have our PS2 collection. Got Persona 3 Collector's Edition that has a, um, like a little art book and stuff in it. And then down over here, we got our small but mighty PS1 collection. Spyro, Gex, I think Gex just fell. But then we got our very small Sega Genesis collection. The more we played Genesis, the more we realized I'm not really a fan of most of the Genesis games. Sorry for all you Genesis lovers out there. Our very small Dreamcast collection. One of our bigger collections compared to the PS4 is this, this red brick here of a Nintendo Switch collection. And this friggin' serious! We've got a couple Wii U games, some Wii games over here, and then actually Wii continues over onto this other side down here. The GameCube games, which is actually my favorite console of all time. And I will point out to you one of our coolest games, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, which we actually have a video on how we acquired this game, which was kind of crazy. My mom went to an auction and was like, hey, there's a bunch of Zelda games. Oh wait, the Zelda games aren't in the case, but the only game in the case is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, you probably don't want it, do you? And I was like, yes, please pick it up. Please, it was like 60 bucks for that and a GameCube. And then, we're gonna have to take a, take a second to get real intimate with you guys. Nathan's joining the cast Hi, here. Hi, how's it going? Uh, oh, hey, here's all this go. <laughs> My favorites are definitely right here where Nathan tells me every time we go to get rid of some games. Nathan's like, hey, you have two collector's editions of The Last of Us. And I'm like, hey, I know. And they're going to stay that way. <laughs> Got the Resident Evils right here, which actually look like they're the same. So this kind of getting in the way. They look like they're the same, but those are actually two different games. Our cheapest thing in our collection right here. Got the Sonic Mania statue, which goes for like 10 bucks. It says <laughs> Sega whenever you hit the button. It's kind of cool, but kind of lame. Got Smash Bros. Ultimate over here, some Blaze Blue, but yeah, that's the games. How do we have four? Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's not all the games. That's just some console games. Alrighty, so usually when you first come down the game room, this is like the first thing you see. I love the sound effects there. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> hire, hire her for voice acting. But uh, up top here, it's probably a little bit shadowed because we don't have recess lighting, which that's something I want to add to this game room. Like up top, we have a lot of box. I mean, this is a lot of box stuff throughout this whole shelf, but there's a couple really big ones here. Like we got to show off the Fire Emblem box games. Uh, Elijah has them all protected because you always want to protect what you love. Always use protection, children. I'm not going to pull all these off, but we have, we got some big heavy hitters. We have a lot of box Pokemon games, which go for ridiculous oodles amounts of money nowadays. One of the coolest ones being our Pokemon Fire Red, which we actually got in our New York vlog like four years ago. And then this is probably the big mumbo jumbo right here. 
This bad boy is actually factory sealed and it's like an $800 to $1,000 game that we could sell right now <laughs> if you really just wanted some quick cash. Man, there's so many little stories I wanna say, but again, like Elijah said, if you guys would like to hear some more like in detail, like stories about how we acquired a lot of the stuff, let us know and don't forget to subscribe because if you like watching this, we'll do a lot more game room content. We can we can keep it coming. Over here, we have a lot more, uh, more box uh, SNES and NES games. Um, one thing that's really cool, I will tell one story here. Uh, Elijah and I acquired a massive lot of Nintendo games that were like retro from this lady who passed away a couple years back. And her family had this full room of like Nintendo consoles, like box stuff, like box SNESs, N64. Um, if I had pictures, I'll throw some up there. But we got a really, really good deal. I don't want to say what we got, but we got a really good deal on all this stuff. And a lot of it is still here to this day. On this bottom shelf, we have some collector's editions as well as our PSP games. This is where our ridiculous collector collecting comes into play. We have two copies of Persona 3 Portable. This one is sealed, this one is not. One thing I do want to say, if you are wanting to get into collecting the key, is buying and reselling stuff. I know that sounds like a crummy tactic, but that's how you build your game room. Because Elijah and I, we didn't spend a lot of actual out-of-pocket money on this stuff. We see something that's worth a lot, we sell it if we already have it, and we use that profit to get even more stuff for our game room. So I think this is actually like our our child, the shelf here. Not not this, not that. <laughs> That's why it's kind of in like the the zone over here, the whole living space. Cause this is Nathan's. I mean, I have I've played Persona Four, guys. I'll get to Persona Five eventually. I'm actually playing Persona Three right now. But uh, there's the Persona Five, Persona Five Collector's Edition back here. Got the Joker amiibo, some pre-order bonuses, and then the Persona Five Royal Collector's Edition back here in the corner, and then Persona Q2 Collector's Edition. But my children are right here on the second shelf. <laughs> we actually got the Three Houses Collector's Edition back here and the Blade of Light, like the 30th um, Anniversary Collector's Edition. And then this Fire Emblem, like Game Boy Advance, Nintendo Power poster that we actually found in uh, Washington while we were there. So that's kind of cool. I'm actually currently trying to finish this game right now. We have a couple of our Fire Emblem Amiibo right here, which my favorites, Almond Celica which you can fight me, one of the best Fire Emblem games there is. So down here, this is actually a really cool thing for me because this was like my first mod experience. This was an old original Game Boy, looked like this bad boy here, that our friend, shout out, gave us. I used the opportunity because it had a broken screen to turn it into an IPS screen, which is really cool for the Game Boy. She totally mm -hmm. didn't like break this the first time she tried it. Yeah. Right? No, I totally didn't break the screen and had to... No, I actually didn't break the screen. The screen came broken and they were mad at me for not testing it before I put it into the system. <laughs> but down here, we actually have a couple more collector's editions, uh, like a sealed corpse party. These are some of our sealed stuff, actually. Se uh, sealed Fate Extello and sealed Valkyria Chronicles. And then down here at the bottom are full of dust and hair. We got. Octopath Traveler, which is actually in one of our vlogs. New um, York. Our New York vlogs. I think episode four. We picked that up at the Nintendo store. And then a Taiko Drum Master for PS2, actually Japanese version of it. Um, this is actually like our living space area. As you can see, Zelda is utilizing it exactly how it should be used right now. Uh, but we actually have all our Amiibo, which we're trying to downsize as well, and our collector's editions. Well, there are some collector's edition strategy guides, but all our strategy guides, all the Pokemon is over here, you can see. We got in crazy. a cage. <laughs> in a cage here. Ikea. Yeah, I was about to say, these Ikea. are from Ikea as well. And the, so you can see everything kind of matches. It's all from Ikea. Uh, we have all our systems down here. So you can see you got the N64, SNES, Wii U, the NES Top Loader, Saturn. Yeah, I can't remember what all is on this side. Oh, there's our brand new backwards compatible PlayStation 3. Shout out to Jordan uh, for giving us that. Sega CD and Sega Genesis. Also, and um, absolutely adorable. We just got the Minecraft box, we already had the dog. <laughs> Minecraft stream coming soon. And uh, this actually over here uh, was from Ikea as well. And as we wanted to get more of them, but they Ran out of like the brown. I didn't want to get white. I kind of like the cork board aesthetic over here. Uh, has all our goodies in it. And as you can see, gotta have 
the best consoles up here. The PS5, the Nintendo Switch, which is not in the dock right now, <laughs> and the GameCube. Anything inside? Sonic DX. <laughs> Over here in the corner, uh, if you ever wanna know how we store all our controllers, it's in a bin <laughs> in the corner of the room. <laughs> Shout out this TV. This was kind of what took so long for us to do the game room tour was we were waiting to get the funds to purchase this sexy thing right here. This, for anybody who wants a crazy awesome TV for gaming, is the LG OLED C1 TV. Uh, this one is 65 inches, which is about as big as you can get down here. 75 would really be pushing it. Wouldn't be able to stand up the PS5 anymore. And Zelda, because she's adorable. This couch actually was from Wayfair. So that wasn't too bad of a deal. And this rug, rug <laughs> is actually from Wayfair as well. So if anyone's interested in any of that, uh, all the shelving throughout the game room is also from Wayfair, or not Wayfair, also from Ikea. And you can see, here, our bad job of sticking them together. You watch the full other vlog to kind of figure out what happened. <laughs> watch them all fall off the wall in our other video. Before, uh, we were almost done, and then we realized we completely forgot one of the most important things, anime. Um, this is our anime shelf, as well as we have our DS games in there also. Um, but over here on the anime shelf, we actually do have some Fruits Basket collector's editions, or I don't even know what you call them if they're you know, anime, you know, box sets. A box set probably would be more professional, but uh, this bookshelf was also built by Elijah and her dad. This was not built by the hands of Ikea. This was uh, built by them. Shout out to them for making that. Uh, but yeah, DS games. We have some DVDs as well as, actually, what is this right here? Oh, sign. We got a signed Aaron Zach picture. Shout out to Aaron Zach, as well as uh, Barbara Dunkelman uh, from uh, Ruby, if you love Ruby. And then down here, we I, I gotta pull these off for our, for, our, for our DS stuff. We have multiple copies, which are, these two are also copies of Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Got these at a yard sale before we even did YouTube for a dumb good steal. I think we paid like $40 for all the games as well as a DSi XL. Then more games down here also. Anyways, y'all, thank you for watching this video. We have been Elginate. My name's Nathan. Not Elijah. We've, I don't know that we really ever introduce ourselves. We used to do that all the time in our old videos. It's a little cringy, but. If you guys have any questions about how we built this, because literally if you have been here since that video where we built this game room down here, we started from scratch. So if you have any questions, if you're working on something yourself, feel free to let us know. We are always here to help, always want to communicate with you guys. And if you want to see pickup videos again. <laughs> pickup videos? What are wow, those? that's been a long time. No, but nobody those? can remember that. Yeah, that what... was the start of Elginate. But yeah, here we are with our crazy game room tour. It feels insane to be here filming this. Honestly, it's a long time coming. Uh, coming from an apartment with a tiny bedroom to our own house with a basement that we can, you know, have our hobbies and do the things that we love. So. Thank you guys again so much for watching and supporting us over the years. We definitely want to take this channel to the next level. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. It's free and it really does support us. We want that algorithm to pick us up so that we can get some more followers and subscribers and all that jazz. If you'd like to see more dog content, let us know. <laughs> t pose. We'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what's happening. We're alternate. Peace. Peace.